How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I want to tell you about Omotana's latest mod, Farm Production Pack. Exactly what is it? Well, we've got 10 brand new production items that we can make using base game crops. That's right, Omotana has made a pack that we can use on any map here to make items like popcorn or um, ice cream or noodles or soy drink or oatmeal. Oh my goodness, this is for all platforms too, not just PC. So once you download the mod, you're going to need to come down here into your construction area. You're then going to come across to production, and then you're going to go down to factories, all the way down here, and you come across, you can see that you have a farm production stone and a farm production barn. The stone here is on the right side of the screen, the barn is on the left side of the screen. If you keep making your way to the right, you can then see that you have a farm production barn medium, that's on the right hand side of the screen. Next is going to be a farm production alpine style in the middle. And then the last one is a farm production plaster. These are a medium size uh, production facility right here. They have the same output as the other ones. So it's all about how much footprint and the style of your map that you want to do here. All five of these buildings that you see right here in front of you are going to do all 10 of the extra productions and a few of the regular base game productions as well. The next group of buildings that you see here in front of you are a little bit unique because they don't do all of the productions. As you can see right here, we have potato production. We have a small stone, a small white, and a small red. The next group here is only going to do bakery production items. Then after that, you're going to get into dairy production. Then you're going to get into fruit production, oil production, and then cereal production. And that's going to be it. Six different ones there. They're only going to come in three different styles of buildings, but each one of these only does a very specific type of production. After you put it down, you're going to need to come down here to your production chains menu. As you can see, I'm on the farm production stone right now. We have french fries, we have premium potatoes, we have spaghetti, tomato sauce, mixed salad, oat drink, oatmeal, popcorn, soybeans drink, and strawberry ice cream. Those are the 10 new items that we have. These larger and the medium ones also will do wheat flour, barley flour, sugar beet, sugar, bread, cakes, raisins, grape juice, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, cereal, butter, and cheese. That's it. So you don't have all of the other productions, but you have quite a few. And that's just in one facility here. Now for the smaller ones, you can see the potato production is only going to do french fries, premium potatoes, sugar beet sugar, and potato for the pig food. Down in your bakery, it's only going to give you spaghetti, wheat flour, barley flour, bread, and cake. For the dairy production, you're only going to get strawberry ice cream, oat drink, soybean drink, butter, and cheese. For the fruit production, you're only going to get tomato sauce. You're going to get mixed salad, raisins, grape juice. For the oil production, you're only going to get sunflower oil, canola oil, and olive oil. And the cereals production, you're only going to get oatmeal, popcorn, and cereal. And you might be wondering, after you make all these products, where are you going to be able to sell them at? Whenever you come into your prices menu here, you can see that you're not able to sell any of these products except for noodles, and that's only going to be at the bakery production small white. So that's the only one that's set up this way. I'm not sure why it is, but it is. So you could sell your noodles there, but Omatana has given us a way to be able to sell our products. So you're going to come back into your construction, then you're going to go over to production, and now instead of factories, you're going to go to selling points. When you come across, you can see that you are now going to be able to have a shop right here. So boom. All right. Next, you're going to be able to have a grocery store right there. Perfect. After that, you're going to be able to have like a little market stall. There we go. And if you're not into that and you just want a regular like great style, there you go. And if you don't want that, you just want some lines on the ground. Boom. There you go too. So five options you are going to be able to have here to be able to sell these products. Now let's go look at the prices. So now you can see you have the grocery store plaster, the market stall, the selling station grain gate, you have the selling station plane, and the shop. All five of these now are going to take all of these products. So I went ahead and put some oat here in this facility also and sped up time, and you can see that we got oatmeal right here. Now, one really interesting thing that I want to do is I want to walk up to this and see exactly how heavy it is. All right, so it looks like the mass is seven or the 179 kilograms, all right? So, yeah, we're able to pick it up. I was able to do this with the ice cream earlier, too. Now, I do not have the lift pallets mod that just came out the other day. I don't have that one installed here. This is the way these mod, these pallets are. 
179 liters. You're able to pick them up. You can throw them around just a little bit, but yeah, um, you're able to pick all of them up. Now, one other thing I want to try here, I want to jump in the truck, and then I want to back up here and see how exactly if we can load these. I don't think we're going to be able to. All right. So... No, it doesn't look like I'm getting any type of trigger at all. All right, so what happens now, since I'm able to lift this, I wonder, is there a way? Oh, check that out. Did you guys see that? I get it high enough and close enough and in the right orientation. Oh, it took the first one. Why is it not taking this one? Oh, I think it's going. Yeah. Check that out. Once again, David's 82 tipper to the rescue. What's this look like in here? It's given me oatmeal too. You guys see that down there in the bottom? That is really, really interesting. I, I wasn't expecting this at all, but that is so cool. Now the pallet bed will not work. I tried it, I threw it up on top of here. It would not work, but this dumper trailer right here, this works. And I bet the X-52 works also. If you have a ton of product, all you got to do is just throw it in there and then it's just going to start going to town. Absolutely awesome. David, you did something you didn't even know. Now I'm curious what this looks like if we try and dump it out. Let's go to unload. And I can't perform the action. So if I go here, all right, I, I want to unload. And it's not going to give me the option at all. Nope. Let's throw down a uh, cell point here really quickly and see what happens there. All right, so now you can see I do have a uh, trigger down there at the bottom. It's showing up now. So if I do this, what's it going to look like? All right, there we go. Now, I don't know what other products in this pack this um, dumper right here is going to work with, but try it out. You might be able to get a tanker to hold some of the liquids, and that would be really, really cool. Another thing that's really interesting here is the production rate. So I'm on the farm production barn, the big one right here, and I wanna come down to wheat flour. As you can see, it's 2,400 cycles a month. It's gonna be five in and four out. So if I come down here now to the next one, the medium sized one, and I come all the way down to wheat flour, it's also 2,400 cycles a month. It's five in and four out. And if I come down to the small one right here, this is the one that's only going to be for bakery productions, 2400 cycles and it's five in and four out but if i compare that against my grain mill right here you can see that it's still five in and four out but it's now 3600 cycles a month so that's a difference of you know if you've got this production pack you're only going to be able to use 12,000 000 um, liters of product going in as compared to 18,000 liters of product that you're going to be able to use um, with the base game uh, grain mill and your output is only going to be 9,600 liters compared to 14,400 liters. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my latest how-to or tips and tricks videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those videos, go ahead and check out one of these other two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.